families are being hunted by scary monsters. Now we must build giant cruise ships to help them survive the night. But what happens when the final boss attacks? Oh no, Louis, in 20 minutes, the sun is going to go down. Those monsters will attack. Yeah, we have to start building our cruise ships ASAP, Pip. So let's get started. I'm definitely going to build mine out of red concrete. Oh yeah, Louis, I think I'll do uh, that same thing. Wait, Pip, that's not red concrete. That's dirt. Yeah, dirt concrete. Dirt concrete? I've never heard of such a thing, buddy. Well, Louie, you aren't that smart sometimes. So, yeah, you probably haven't heard of it. Oh, Pip, I'm not dumb. Uh, you're dumb. Do not say that to me, Louie. I'm a genius. Oh, I don't know about that, Pip. You never came off as much of a genius to me. Uh-huh, then why do I beat you in every build chat? Challenge. What? No, you don't. You've never beaten me at a build challenge. Yes, I have, Louie. I've beaten you at least 100 times. Uh, well, I don't think I remember any of those 100 times you beat me, Pip. But anyways, <laughs> buddy, we have to build our cruise ships fast because those scary ocean creatures will be here any second. So let's make sure these boats are secure as well. I'm building as fast as I can, Louie. Luckily, there is a great building block. Yeah. It usually is, Pip, but I don't know, buddy. I don't think dirt will cut it this time. What do you mean, Louie? I thought you said dirt was good just like five seconds ago. Well, it is, Pip, but that's the thing, Pip. It's only a good block when you need to build a cheap house in Minecraft. Any other time, it's really bad. Oh, well, I do like saving money. Oh, well, I guess you do, buddy. But anyways, guys, look at this. I've built the flat back of my boat like this, and now I'm about to build the bow of it. It. The bow of my ship is basically just the part that goes under the water. It keeps the boat nice and streamlined. So, Louie, we're building pirate ships, right? No! We're not building pirate ships, Pip. We are building cruise ships. And we are building secure ones at that. Oh, luxury cruise ships? Yeah, luxury cruise ships. Why didn't you tell me then, Louie? I've been building a pirate ship. What, Pip? I told you like five seconds ago that we were building cruise ships. Ships. Oh, well, you should have said it louder, Louie. My hearing isn't very good. Oh, I know it isn't, Pip. Your hearing is terrible because you're a duck. You don't even have ears. Oh, and yes, I do, Louie. They're just inside of my head. What, inside of your head? How are they inside of your head? Ears are usually on the outside. Oh, Louie, it's not what's on the outside that counts. It's what's on the inside that counts. All right, I guess so, buddy, but I still don't don't know what that means. But anyways, look at this, Pip. I'm building the back of my cruise ship, and it looks really cool. Well, yours looks like a potato chip. My ship does not look like a potato ship. No, I didn't say potato ship. I said potato chip. Oh, I love potato chips. Yeah, I would hope so, Pip. They taste really good, don't they? Yeah, Louie. Especially the seed-flavored potato chips. Wait, did you just say seed-flavored potato chips? I've never heard of those. Oh, yeah, Louie. They're in, like, every duck supermarket. Wait, there's duck supermarkets? What? Yeah, but humans can't see them. Oh, that would make sense. I've never seen one of those duck supermarkets in my life. I would have thought you would have been lying to me about that, Pip. Oh, Louie, I never lie to you. Why would I lie to my best friend? Mm, I don't know, Pip. You lied to me a lot, though, buddy, so I wouldn't have been surprised. Oh, no, Louie. Lie is very bad. I would never do that. Well, I hope you won't be lying to me about your build when it's trash. You tried to tell me that it's good. I don't lie, Louie. I'm just very confident. Very confident. Okay, buddy. We'll see about that when your cruise ship gets eaten by sharks. Why would a shark eat my ship, Louie? They'll see my ship and it's super cool and then just go away. Maybe, but I don't know about that, Pip. I mean, after all, they are really evil sharks, so they might not actually leave. They might just try to ruin it because it's really, really uh, bad. Oh, they're not evil, Louie. I have a better idea. Why don't we invite the sharks over for dinner? Uh, no, Pip. We are not doing that. They'll kill us. Oh, come on, Louie. A little kindness 
goes a long way. Well, not to sharks, Pip. Sharks will eat us if we try to be kind to them. Well, then just let them eat us. No, Pip, that is not happening. But anyways, guys, I need to build the deck of my ship. That is the big wooden platform that everybody stands on. So what I'll do is use these pro world edit commands to be able to place all of these oak planks instantly. Wait, Lily, how have you built all of that straight away? Well, that's because, Pip, I'm using pro world edit commands. They are really good for building. Well, lucky for me, my cruise ship is already done. Wait, what's already done? Are you sure about that, buddy? Yeah, isn't this all I need? Let me take a look and... No, Pip, that's just a dirt platform. You need a lot more than that. You actually need to build on the inside. Like, put a living room and a kitchen and a five-star restaurant. Oh, yeah, Louis. If I put a couple beds, then will my ship be complete? Uh, no, Pip. You need to build more than just some beds. Oh, just look at my crew. Ship. It's coming along very well. Try and build something like that. Oh, well, if you're going to make a massive cruise ship, then I'll make a massive cruise ship. All right, buddy. Well, you go ahead and build a cruise ship while I make mine look super epic. As you guys know, in real life, cruise ships are very, very thick. So let's go ahead and do that. We have the bottom deck below, and then on the top, we are going to have where everybody lives. So I'm going to build it out of white concrete. Just like this. I'm also going to get some black stained glass. And this is where everybody's going to be able to look out of the front. So let's build that. I'm going to build some rooms just going all the way over here. And they will stop once I get to this area. As you can see, I've got one floor right here. This is where everybody will live. Let's go ahead and put some glass down just like a real cruise ship. What I'll do is put a big layer of black glass just along like this. This, and then I'll go ahead and cut it off here and add another piece of glass on the front. This way, it kind of looks like a little room. And I'm just going to stack these on top of each other to make it look like a real cruise ship. They have a bunch of rooms stacked all the way up into the sky. I'm working on my cruise ship walls right now. Oh, yeah? How are they coming along, buddy? Oh, they're coming along amazing, Louie. I'm making them out of cobblestone. Wait, cobblestone? Cobblestone? What? That's really heavy. That will sink, Pip. No, it's not, Louie. It will make my ship super fortified. Oh, I don't know about that, but whatever. I guess I'll let you build what you want, Pip. I've just now built all of these rooms that people can stay in. They're going to be quite small, so it won't be too crazy. Why are you making the room small, Louie? That doesn't make any sense. Well, these are going to be the non-VIP rooms. You know, those rooms that people don't pay loads of money for? These are going to be those ones. Oh, well, luckily I won't buy those because I'm super VIP. Very important, Pip. Yeah, Pip. I would always give you a good seat on my cruise ship because I am a very good friend. So are you going to give me the best seat in the house? Well, maybe, Pip. We'll see about that. But anyways, guys, look at that. I've added this cruise cruise ship window area where everybody will sit and look out at the ocean, especially Mikey and JJ. But now what I want to do is add a bunch of helipads because at the end of the day, we are going to need helicopters that can come and go to put food on the cruise ship. So I'll go ahead and build those. I want them to be really big helipads, at least four blocks wide on the front like this. I think that shape should do. All right, let's go ahead and just fill it in with green and then put a big yellow H on it. Let's just do that. And boom. Awesome. We now have this helipad that helicopters can land on. Let's just make sure to surround it with some white so that all of the pilots of those helicopters will be able to see it. There we go. Now what I need to do is add a white fence going around the entire outside. This is just so that if any passengers come here, they will not fall off the side of the cruise ship because it needs to be like a holiday vacation, not a terrifying nightmare. But now that I've built this helipad, I want to go ahead and build a nice little helicopter to go on the front of my cruise ship. So let's go ahead and build one of 
those. I just need some gray concrete like this, and these will work for the legs of the helicopter. What it stands on! There we go. Now, let's go ahead and just add the actual helicopter on the top of these legs. I need to build the body of it a few blocks wide, just so that I have a lot of space on the inside. I think I'll make it just like that. Now it needs to come up into the air and curve up like this. I think this is where the back of the helicopter will be. So I'll do it right here. I'll build it going up and then out. So there you go, guys. That is the shape of the helicopter's back. That is where the little propellers are going to be on the side here. Now let's just build up the actual shape of it. I want it to be very round and I want it to look quite interesting too. So here is where the door is going to be on this thing. I'll just make sure I build the door spaces first because I need to build this helicopter around them like this. There we go. That's looking pretty cool. Just like that, we've built the doors and the back. This is looking awesome, but I definitely need to add the propeller on the top. But I'll do that right after I add the window on the front. Let's go ahead and just build that on first. I need to make sure that it curves around like this and comes out quite far. Just like that. I think that looks pretty cool. What do you guys think? You know what? Maybe I'll make it one block less wide like that. And yeah. That's definitely looking like a helicopter right now. I just need to go ahead and build the front of it. And this front is going to curve down onto the glass at the front like that. That looks pretty good, but I need to fix it a little bit just like that. Now it has a little bit curving down on the front and looks just like a real helicopter. But it's time to add the floor and the control panel inside. Just in case something goes wrong on this ship, we need to be able to evacuate. So I'll put a lot of storage in here. I'm going to get a lot of chests, and this will allow me to bring a bunch of safety items to the ship, just in case anybody gets hurt, or we need to feed the passengers. Wait, we need to feed those passengers? Well, of course we do, Pip. If we don't feed our passengers, they'll get really hungry. Well, can't they just bring a snack? Well, they could, but if they're going on a seven day long cruise, they'll get really hungry. Oh, well, I don't think food's in our budget. Unless they want to have some seeds. Well, Pip, food might not be in your budget, but it's definitely in mine. My cruise ship is going to be a VIP one. Just look at this, buddy. I'm just now adding these propellers to this helicopter, which means I'll be able to bring as much food as I need for my passengers. Is it looking exactly VIP? More like VIL. Very important losers. Oh, <laughs> Pip, well, you your ship looks V-I-D. Oh, yeah. And what does that stand for? Well, Pip, that stands for very icky and dirty. It's not icky and dirty. It's absolutely spotless. Well... I don't know. You built this deck very good. It's, it uses the same blocks that mine does. Yes, Louie, that's exactly why it's so good. Oh, well, don't you worry, Pip. When I'm finished building this cruise ship, you're going to be saying it looks terrible. Just watch this. I'm going to add the front of my cruise ship right now. I'm going to put on a big window where the captain can see from. I'll do something like this. And I'll make it nice and round. Now I'll just add these windows windows in just like this and i'll make sure they're really big just so the captain can see out of them just like that now i just need to cap off this captain's quarters and make it look really good as you guys know cruise ships still have to be aerodynamic which means the air has to go over them and not slow it down so i'm going to make it very round on the front just like this so it comes back and the captain can control it i'm also going to use some of these slabs here and this will allow me to go ahead and make it really, really cool looking. I'm going to add a little bit of slabs on the top here just to make it look like it curves over really cool looking. All right, that is where the captain is going to be. There we go. That'll be the captain's quarters and I'll just close that off for now. I'll put some controls in here later. Let me just add a wall in. There we go. But now I've built the captain's area. I have a really fun idea to do. I'm going to use some of this gray concrete make some of these 
smooth quartz slabs. This is going to work like a balcony. And you guys are going to love what I'm about to build here. Let me just round this thing out just like this, just towards the top. And now we can build what I think will be really cool on this cruise ship. I'm going to add a really big pool. So let's do that right now. I'll go ahead and make it into this deck right here so that I can see the pool from the rooms below. That would be epic. But what I need to do to make sure I don't drown this cruise ship is add some blue blocks like this. This will allow me to add the water inside and definitely not spill it everywhere in this bottom room. I'll make this pool two blocks deep, but now let's add a floor to it just like this. Awesome. This is looking really, really nice. I'm very, very proud of this build. But all I have to do in a second is fill it all up with water. And we will have a working swimming pool inside of this cruise ship. Let's just get this block and this block and then replace all of the air with water. And now we have an awesome swimming pool. Let's just surround it with some gray concrete just so that you can tell that this is where you'll dive in. Who needs a swimming pool when we're in the middle of the ocean, Louis? Well, Pip, the guests on my cruise ship are going to want to go swimming in some water that isn't really salty and nasty. And that's why I built a swimming pool here. It won't taste weird if you land inside. Whoa, I love salt on my food, but maybe I love salty water. Wait, did you add diving boards going off the back? What if someone dives in and gets left behind? Oh, Louie, it will be fine. It's just how you leave the ship. Just like this. Come on. Cannonball! All right, Pip. Well, I guess that is quite fun looking. You know what? I might go ahead and add some diving boards to my swimming pool. Let me just come over to your side very quickly and uh, just yoink that. And look over here. I'm making my helicopter pad. Wait, you're copying me! Wait, you just put a P on it. Because I don't want to copy you. This is my own idea. All right, Pip. Well, whatever. You know what? I said I was going to add a diving board. So I'm going to add one all the way down here. And then I'll add one going all the way up here. This is the pro diving board. The one that all of the professional divers will jump off of. Woohoo! I think that looks pretty cool. And it makes my ship look a little bit more interesting. Yeah, it almost looks like it's going to make choo-choo noises. <laughs> no! Pip, it's not a train, it's a boat. But wait, how are my divers going to get up to the top? Oh, wait, I have an idea. I'll get some ladders like this. And I'll just put them going all the way up to the top. Now my divers can climb up onto the diving board. All right, Pip, but look at this. Now that I've gone ahead and built a swimming pool... I think I'll add a second helipad because at the end of the day, we need two helicopters. One to bring food to the ship and two to be able to fly away if we get overwhelmed by those sharks. Uh, I know I'm not going to get overwhelmed by the shark. I'm working on a dog right now for where I can add jetties. Wait, jet skis? Pip, you're coming up with crazy ideas. Yeah, Louie, jet skis are super cool. Maybe the sharks will even want want to drive them with me. Oh, I don't know about that, Pip, but it could be interesting. Anyways, look, I have this second helipad right here. I'm going to go ahead and put another big H on it like this. Just like that. And now, I want to add a yellow helicopter. One for me and one for you. Wait, Louie, you said you're building a yellow helicopter? Uh, yeah, of course I am, buddy. I'm just adding the legs for it right now. Well, seeing as it's going to be yellow, I think I have to help you with it. All right. Well, go ahead, buddy. Let's build a really cool looking helicopter. I'll just add the area where the doors are going to be. And now we can actually work on it. How are we supposed to build this, Louie? I've never built a helicopter before. Just look at my helicopter pad. I just put a plane on it. Oh, that's a good point, Pip. You have a plane on your helipad. That's not right. But don't worry, Pip. I've built a ton of helicopters before. Look at this one. Oh, Louis, can we just copy and paste this one over there and make it yellow? We could, but I want to build a way bigger helicopter because this is a bigger helipad. So watch this, Pip. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to build the shape of this helicopter like this. Just coming to the front like this. And then we can add the windows on the front. Awesome. All right, Louie. It looks like we're getting somewhere, but it still doesn't look that good. Shouldn't we add some propellers to it? Wait, the 
That's a good point, Pip. We haven't added the propellers to this thing yet. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's build the shape of the back of the helicopter. Usually they come up just like this. And then from the top here, they just come down and connect up like that. We just have to connect this entire helicopter up like that. And it should be easy to build from there. Let's just connect all of this so that the inside has a wall on all sides. And boom, we have the back of the helicopter. And it looks really sporty. Well, Louis, it almost looks like a submarine. Yeah, it kind of does. But you know what, Pip? We are not going to make it look like a submarine. We are going to go ahead and add a really cool propeller to the back of it, just like this. Now we have two propellers on the side that can move it left and right. Oh, Louis, can we put this helicopter in the ocean? Well, you know what? This could work as a helicopter and a submarine. Oh, yeah, that'd be so cool. I've never seen a submarine mixed with a helicopter. Me neither. But there's always a first time for something. But anyways, Pip, we can't afford to get backtracked. We have to go ahead now and add all of these slabs to the top. This will be the main propeller that flies it up into the sky. What do you think, buddy? Doesn't it look cool? Oh, yeah, it looks super good. And isn't there a way to make this propeller move? Well, I think there is. You know what? Let me try. I'll get some glue like this, and then I'll get a motor. Now I just have to get this mechanical bearing. All I have to do is put the motor down, then the bearing, and then finally I need to put the propellers on the top. But I need to rebuild them all from scratch with glue in my hand. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's build it all the way out here, and then all the way out here, and then do the same thing on all the other sides. This should definitely spin now. Let's just test it out. I really hope it works. I want to see it spin. All right, let's give it a go. Let's get rid of the bearing and put it back and woohoo! Gosh, it looks like it's ready for takeoff. Yep, we have Whoa. one working helicopter now. This looks really nice. Oh, wait, but now that your helicopter is finished, I really think I should stop helping you and get back to working on my cruise ship. All right, buddy, go ahead. You keep building that cruise ship while I add some extra details to mine. But... What could I add? Hmm, wait, I have a good idea. Let me build a massive radio control tower on the top so I'll be able to talk to all of the people on the land and they'll be able to help me in case something goes wrong. This should also work as a GPS device that allows me to be able to tell what's going on around me. So let's build a big tower going up into the sky like this and let's surround it with some red concrete to make it look like a real radio tower. I'll make it come down like this. And then down a little bit more. And then finally down into the top of the boat. Awesome. Now I just have to do that on all of the sides. And we have an awesome radio tower. So let's just do it like this. The same as it is on that side. And then finally connect it to the boat. And boom. We have two antennas on this radio. Now let's do another one. Like this. Just a few more blocks. Place it down. And boom. We'll connect it to the boat again. And finally... Finally, let's do it on the last side. We should be able to contact radio support whenever we need it now. There is no way we won't be able to contact land with this huge radio. And you know what? I'm actually going to add it on the top now. Usually radios are like big balls on the top. So I'm going to put one of those. I'll put a big antenna just here that has all of this red connecting to the top of it. And there we go. This radio tower is now completed. We can contact the land whenever we need to now. Now, I think it's time to work on a diner because where are all my passengers going to eat? Because apparently I need to feed those people. So let's go ahead and put a bunch of kitchen tiles all around this floor. Oh, actually, how about we do these admin commands? I watched a YouTube tutorial and learned that if I just do slash slash set kitchen tile, look! It pays so many kitchen tiles. And now it's my build is going to be way better because it won't take as long. So let's go ahead and finish up these walls now so that all the passengers are safe. <laughs> I wonder what food I should serve in my diner. What food do most people like? Most people like cake and ice cream and pizza. Oh, my diner is going to be way better than Louie's diner. No passengers are going to want to go on his ship if his ship doesn't serve amazing food. Come on, just a few 
one more block and now our walls are complete. So now let's go ahead and start putting down this kitchen. Let's go ahead and get some kitchen counters from my creative inventory as well as a sink. So we can wash our hands and the pastures can as well. But we definitely need to have a place for them to sit. So let's go ahead and cross off this side of the building. This side of the building is for employees only. And over here are for passengers and customers. Oh, but we don't want our employees jumping over dirt. So how about we go ahead and add a door so our passengers can go into the kitchen. What should we use? Why don't we use a trap door? So our customers can see inside the kitchen and know that our employees are not poisoning them. Because I got food poisoning one time and that was horrible. We don't want our passengers to get food poisoning. Otherwise, they'd give us a horrible review. Now, let's finish up our kitchen. So we just need a bunch of ovens because we're going to serve a bunch of passengers. So we need a lot of those. And we're definitely going to need some more counter space because we are going to put a bunch of microwaves and a bunch of toasters so that our passengers can eat a bunch of popcorn and a bunch of toast. Oh, I love toast, especially the French toast. I don't know what those French people put in their toast, but it's amazing. And now it's time to work on the passenger side of the diner. So the passengers are going to need a bunch of seats since we're going to have a lot of those passengers. Passengers. Let's just get a bunch of seats and a bunch of tables and spread them out all throughout the diner. We're going to have a bunch of rows, kind of like a table in school. So now let's just go ahead and put our seats down so that the passengers can eat their food in peace. Because who would want to eat food standing up? I know I sure don't. Whoa, Pip, what are you doing right now? This looks kind of interesting. Well, yeah, Louie, I'm just working on my diner. Did you break a hole in the wall? No, no, I didn't do that. That was all you, buddy. Oh, I guess so, but why are you on my cruise ship? Well, I just thought I'd come by and take a little look. It looks pretty nice. Yes, yeah, thanks, Louie. I'm making a huge diner because because I'm going to have way more passengers than you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll see about that, buddy. My cruise ship looks like it can hold about a thousand more passengers than yours. A thousand? Your cruise ship looks like it can barely even hold Mikey and JJ. Oh, what do you mean? Mikey and JJ are both very, very light. So my cruise ship should be able to hold them no problem. Well, I'm going inside your cruise ship right now, and it looks like half the space. It's just taken up by the pool. Oh, well, how about this then, Pip? You help me build it inside so it doesn't look like that. Watch. I'll go ahead and add a roof out of white concrete, and we can add some things inside of this cruise ship. Watch. I'll get some white concrete, and boom. Now it doesn't look like the pool is here, and we can put some rooms inside of this oh, one. Yeah, Louie. We should make a kitchen. Have you made a kitchen yet? Well, Pip, I do not have a kitchen right now, but... I want a few things, like an arcade and an entertainment room for Mikey and JJ to enjoy. Yeah, we should totally make an arcade. And we'll add a bunch of games, like Super Duck Bros. Oh, yeah. Good idea, buddy. How about this, buddy? Let's put some arcade machines in here. That should be easy. I just need to get some of these consoles, these screens, and then finally some of these rainbow blocks. These will definitely look good on arcade machines. So to build them, all I'll do is put this rainbow block on top with a stained glass block beneath it. Now I need a really cool red block to make it look like the arcade machine is an arcade machine. Then finally, I'll put a console and a screen. And yeah, that is the coolest arcade machine I've ever seen. Oh my gosh, we could play any game in the world on this. Oh yes, we could, buddy. It is top of the line. And we are going to build a few more of them for Mikey and JJ. How about you build a yellow one right here? All right, Louie. Let me just get some yellow concrete. Place that down right here. And now, let's just place some more yellow. What? No! Get rid of all of that yellow, <laughs> Pip. What are you doing? Come on. Let's just add the console and the screen. Now that looks like a really cool arcade machine. And look, they're connected together. So we can play multiplayer games. Oh my gosh. So we can play Minecraft while playing Minecraft? Well, I 
think we could, but... Oh, this screen is really low quality, but I guess it's just an arcade machine. Yeah, arcades usually don't have the best... Yeah, but don't worry, Pip. I have a good idea on something else we could add. Watch this, buddy. And do you... Let's see if you can guess what I'm building. I doubt anyone in the comments below will be able to tell what it is. I'm going to put a green table in the middle like this. And then I'll just get some of these white drapes like this and put them down. Do you know what this is, Pip? I don't know, Louie. It kind of looks like a ghost, though. No. That's not what I'm talking about, Pip. I'm not talking about the white things I put on there. I'm talking about this whole thing as a whole. Do you know what it could be? Oh my gosh, Louie. Is this going to be table tennis? Yep, it's ping pong. My favorite game. Wait, ping pong bing dong? I've never heard of that before. Well, Pip, that's because we call it different things. I call it ping pong because of the noises that the rackets make. When you hit the ball, it goes ping pong, ping pong. Yeah. And I call it table tennis because we're playing it on a table and it kind of looks like tennis. Well, you are kind of right, Pip, but wait a second. We need to actually be able to play table tennis. So here we go. I'll put down some item frames and let's put some rackets inside. All right, Louie, I'm going to get the best racket. I'm going to use this leaf shovel because it looks the most like a table tennis racket. Just like that. And what have you used for your table tennis racket, Pip? And wait, that's not a racket. That's Rotten Flash. No, Louie. This is a racket that looks like Rotten Flash. All right, fine, buddy. But you know what? That's okay, because if you're playing table tennis with Rotten Flash, you're gonna lose against me. But here we go. Let me just put the ball in the middle, and now we can play whenever we want. Oh, yeah, Louie. You know, I'm actually a pro at table tennis. Oh, really? <laughs> How come? Because, Louie, I'm undefeated. Wait, undefeated? And wait, how many games have you played? Oh, zero. Wait, what? That explains why you're undefeated, because you haven't played a game ever. Exactly. If I never play, I never lose. <laughs> Um, that's a good point, Pip. Maybe I should just never play build battles against you ever again. Then I will never lose. Oh, yeah. But I always win. So why would you do that? Well, I don't know, Pip. You never win these build challenges. I would say I'm undefeated at them. What do you guys think? Am I undefeated at these build challenges? Because I'm pretty sure Pip's bases are always trash. You might be calling me trash now, Louie. But just wait until we finish this cruise ship and all those mutant Louie moms attack. What? Mutant Louie moms? What are you talking about? Oh, I, I mean the shark. Yeah, you were supposed to say sharks, buddy. But anyways, we have space for one more thing in our arcade. We have these arcade machines, this table tennis board, and I don't know what else. What else goes in an arcade? Well, isn't there supposed to be a shower? Let me get one of those. What? No, don't put a shower in my arcade. Well, if you play arcade a lot, you'll get really smelly, so you should take a shower. Oh, but Pip, you have to be careful. If you put water near those arcade machines, they might break. Let's just not do that. Don't worry, Louie. I'm not putting water near your arcade machines. I'm putting a shower near your whoa, arcade whoa, 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 machines. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Don't put that you know what, Pip? I have a better idea for this arcade. Let me show you. If I go to this page in the creative menu, I can add some bumper cars. These are usually in arcades a lot. So we can drive around this cruise ship and play bumper cars together. Oh my gosh, Louie. I love playing bumper cars. Woohoo! You want to play a game of bumper cars right now, Pip? Oh yeah, Louie. I always beat you. All right, go ahead, buddy. Boop! Oh, you bumped me! But I'm gonna <laughs> bump you now. Boop! Take that! Oh, you can't bump me if I try bump the ship! What? No! Pip! <laughs> Come here, buddy! Oh my We're gosh. under the water playing bumper cars! Underwater bumper cars! All right, Pip, we have to stop messing around, though, buddy. We need to actually build on this ship! Oh, yeah. Maybe we can play bumper cars with those sharks later! I guess so. But you know what? It's fine, Pip. We finished our arcade. But now what's next? I think let's make a nice big room over here. And we will put something inside. But I'm not sure what. Do you have any ideas? Well, Louie, like I said earlier, we need to put a kitchen in here. Wait, that's a good point. Let's put a five-star restaurant in here. Uh, yeah, but why not six-star? Well, Pip, if you didn't know, 
though. Restaurants can only go up to five stars. They don't go any higher. I want to make a ten star restaurant. All right, fine. We will make a ten star restaurant just for you, buddy. Let me just go ahead and do that. I'll get some item frames and I'll place ten of them above. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, and then we just have to put some stars. And this is our restaurant rating. Yeah, we have 10 stars, buddy, because we are the craziest restaurants around. But now, let's actually at the counter where you can buy your food. I'll put down some of these quartz slabs and put them going along like this. Behind this will be the kitchen. And let's go ahead and make a fence gate where our workers can walk inside. And that's looking beautiful. But now, let's go ahead and just add a little roof to this restaurant area. Because after all, it's going to get very, very, very crazy inside of there. And we want to make sure that there's at least a roof above their head so nothing falls onto the chef's head while he's cooking. Yeah, what if it starts raining in the middle of the cruise ship? Well, it won't start raining inside of here, Pip. But it's very likely that something might fall onto the chef's head like that. Pip, did you just put pee? Well, Louie, we haven't made a bathroom yet, so I had to go somewhere. Let's make this kitchen first, and then we can make a bathroom, okay? All right, Louie. Let's finish up this kitchen. All right. So what we want to do is add a bunch of furnaces where we can cook our food. Let's put these on each side, and then put a nice little slab table in the middle. This is where we will be able to cut all of the food. Cutting food? Why would you cut food, Louie? Just eat it whole. That's because, Pip, in this 10-star restaurant, we have to prepare fresh ingredients, which means we need things like cabbage, artichoke, and we also need flour to be able to make cakes and stuff. All right, Louie, I'll put some flour in the item frames. Let me just take this out oh, and put flour in. Pip, that's not flour. That is a flour. No, no, no. Let's just put more flour like that. That should do just fine. If you keep messing with the kitchen, this will not be a 10-star restaurant. Oh, yeah, Louie. I usually don't eat flour, so I'm not sure why we're cooking with those. No, Pip. We are cooking with flour, not with flowers. You use flour to make cakes rise. Oh, like salt? No, not like salt, Pip. Uh, okay, but what about the seats? There's no seats around here. Wait, good point, Pip. Where is everybody going? to sit. You know what? You make a good point. Let's add some seats in. So let's get some of these chairs. I'll get some red ones and I'll get some green ones for Mikey too. And I'll also get some yellow ones for you. So now let's add a bunch of tables. So let's go into our creative menu and grab those. Let's get some of these stripped oak tables and put them down just like this. We'll have some pretty big seating areas around here because we are going to have a lot of passengers. So there we go. Let's just Add some more seats in around here. And boom! Awesome! Now we just need some really small seats where people can sit by themselves if they want to. So let's grab these little cushions like this. And let's put a few of them right next to the kitchen. So you can get your food while you're sat right next to it. Oh yeah, Louie. But let me make some of these chairs blue and orange for our other friends, Milo and Chip. Oh yeah, good idea, Pip. Perfect! But Louie, what if I want to relax and watch TV? There's absolutely no TVs on your entire cruise ship. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you are right there, Pip. You know what? How about we make an entertainment section where we can have a big movie theater? Oh, yeah. I love movie theaters, especially at-home movie theaters. Yep. Let's go ahead and add one of those. I'm going to add a huge movie screen. Just watch this, buddy. I'll get some of these stairs just like this. And then I'll go ahead and place a bunch of black concrete on it. This is like the biggest movie screen ever. Oh my gosh, we could watch so many cool movies like Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, apparently the new one is really oh, bad. Yeah, Louis, I watched the first Kung Fu Panda and I was really sad. I didn't see any ducks in it. Wait, there 
is a duck in it, Pip. Did you know that Poe's dad is a duck? Yeah, but why isn't Poe a duck? Kung Fu duck. No, Pip, it would be a very, very weird movie if it was a Kung Fu dog. Mm, trust me, Louie, that'll be the fifth movie. All right, well, let's hope it is, Pip. But we need to add an area for everybody to sit and watch the movie. So I'm going to add a ton of seats. Let me just get a ton of these frame stairs like this, and then I'll place them just like this. Louie, these look like really uncomfortable seats. Well, yeah, you are kind of right, buddy, but just wait until I show you what they can do. Watch this. I'm going to get some red wool and put it inside the frame stairs. And now look, it's some stairs with a wool texture, which means they are really, really comfortable. Oh my gosh, I want to sit on the yellow side. Yep, you sit on the yellow side, buddy, and I will sit on the red side. And this little stair area is just how we get up to our seats. Oh my goodness, but where's the popcorn? We need popcorn while watching a movie. Mm, yeah, good point, buddy. You know what? I'll replace some of these stairs with a full block like this. And on each of them, I'll put some popcorn just like this. What do you think of that, buddy? This is amazing, Louie. Can't wait to have the yummy, delicious popcorn. Yeah, me neither. We could watch my favorite movie on this screen. But wait a second. Guys, what is your favorite movie? I really want to know. Comments down below. Yeah, how are we going to hear the movie? There's no speakers. Wait, that's actually a good point. There is no speakers. We can't hear anything without them. So how about this, buddy? Let's grab some of these note blocks and let's place them going up the side so we have really crazy big speakers and let's also put some back here just behind the seats so we have 360 degree sound oh my gosh we can hear the movie right here it's going to be so loud yeah and the best part is horror films on this movie theater are going to be really crazy oh god i don't like horror movies yeah, Pip, I don't like horror films either. They're really scary. Oh, yeah, especially when your mom was in that horror movie. It made it super scary. Wait, my mom was in a movie? Yeah, she was that, oh, uh, that it person. You remember that clown? What? The, you're saying my mom looks like Pennywise? Oh, yeah, that's her real name, isn't it? No, buddy, my mom's real name is Louisa. Wait, Louisa? How did she come up with your name? Well, she just took the saw out of her name, and now it's oh. just Louie. What are you going to name your child? Uh, I'll probably call him Lou or something. Wait, Lou? Like the toilet? You're going to the loo? What? No! I'm not going to name my child after the toilet. It's just going to be called Lou, which is a really nice name. L-O-U. Why don't you spell his name like L-O-S-E-R? No! no I'm not going to name my child Loser. <laughs> oh, you know what, Pip? I've had enough. We built the kitchen, the movie room, and the arcade, but we still need to build the captain's room. Oh, yeah, there's no captain quarters yet. Yeah, wait, did you say quarter? Yeah, like 25%, the quarter. Uh, Pip, you say quarter? Really weird. I can't help it. I talk weird sometimes. And anyways, Louie, it doesn't matter how I say quarter. Let's just keep building. All right, Pip, let's build the captain's quarter. All right, come on, let's go. It's not called the captain's quarter. It's called the captain's quarter. All right, Pip. I know it's called the captain's quarters. You are saying it all wrong. I can't believe you don't know how to speak English. Oh, yes, I do, Pip. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Come on. Let's just keep building the captain's quackers. All right, Louie. Let's go. All right, here we go. We have this little table in here. And this is where the captain will be able to steer the ship. We need some controls, but I think we should decorate the room first. Well, Louie, I really we should build out of yellow concrete instead. The captain would probably like it better. All right, well, how about this, Pip? We'll build half of the captain's quarters out of red and half of it out of yellow, and we will be able to build our own sides of it. Oh, Louie, I can't wait to build my captain's quarters over here. All right, well, 
you go ahead and do that, buddy. And I'll build this side. And let's see whose side looks the best at the end. Oh, it's obviously going to be mine, Louie. This isn't even a competition. Oh, no, it's not. Just you wait and see. Watch. I'm going to start us off by adding some bookshelves to my side so that my captain can read as many manuals as he needs. Oh, yeah, Louie. Well, I'm making a bed that I can hide under during the night when any of those scary creatures like Luisia comes out. Oh, um, Kip, I think you look like a scary creature right now. I would hate to see that under my bed at night. Oh, what do you see, Louie? I can't see myself. There's not a mirror down here. Uh, I see your scary little face, buddy. What scary little face? Oh, okay, all right, that's scary. That's scary. Louie, where are you going? Why are you so scared? I'm running away! Wait, Pip, was that you under the bed wearing the mask? Oh, yeah, but I wasn't wearing a mask, Louie. It's just my face! Oh, well, your face is very scary, buddy. But anyways, we need to keep building the captain's quarters! Come on! I'm going to add a nice red seat right here. This is where the captain can sit. And you know what? I'll add a few of them, just in case he needs to move his seats over here. Yeah, I'll some as well, but they aren't going to be red. They're going to be yellow. Oh, well, that doesn't matter, Pip, because my red seats look way cooler than yours. Oh, yeah, Louie. Well, let me just put these down. And look, they're so cool. Well, I guess they are okay. But, Pip, we now have to start adding some controls to this area. So what I'm going to do is get a console. Because we want to be able to let the captain have all the control over the ship. So I'm going to give him this really cool control panel. And then some consoles that he can look at. So this will help him find his way in the ocean with GPS. GPS? What is that, Louie? I don't use any of that stuff. I just look at the water. Well, GPS uses satellites in the sky to be able to tell where you are and where your destination is. And it gives you the quickest directions. Oh, so does it tell me if there's any icebergs ahead? Uh, well, maybe, Pip, but you never know. Those icebergs can come from anywhere. Oh, yeah, even the sky. Yeah, like a hailstorm. But anyways, Pip, I've built my controls. You build yours. All right, Louie. Let me just get a bunch of these buttons, and this should work as some controls. All right. And wait, just buttons? Pip, I don't think that's going to be able to control the boat. Yes, it will, Louie. Let me just plug up some redstone, and boom! Oh. Now it's controlling the boat. Oh, I mean, I guess that is okay. That should be able to control it pretty nicely. I guess you did a good job there, buddy. Yeah, I, I know. I did, Louie, but what do we need now? Well, Pip, I'm glad you asked. We are going to need some propellers in the water to be able to push the boat. But before we make those, we need to make an engine. Wait, an engine? Oh, is it going to be super big? Oh, of course it is, buddy. We are going to build the craziest, biggest engine in Minecraft. And I'm pretty sure this will be able to power this boat easily. All right, Louie, but... Why are you making it so long? Well, the longer I make this engine, the more fuel I'll be able to store inside. Which means the longer my boat will be able to go without running out of gas. Well, we will never run out of gas. I eat Taco Bell all the time. Wait, what? What kind of gas are you talking about, Pip? Uh, the one that comes out of your butt. What? Pip, I'm not talking about that kind of gas. I'm talking about just regular gas you put in your car. Isn't that the same gas that you put in your car? No, Pip, you do not fart into your car. I mean, I do it all the time, and the car works just fine. Well, then you have a very, very special car. Oh, yeah, a special car for a special dog. Yeah, exactly, buddy. But anyways, let's make this engine work. We are going to need one of these creative motors and some of these cogwheels. Now we can easily make this look like the engine is working. Just watch this. I'll get a cogwheel here, then I'll connect it up to the top, and then connect it to the back. Finally, I'll just make them come out of the back like this. And boom! We now have these wheels coming out of the back. It looks awesome, right? Oh, yeah, Louie. Can I touch the engine? Uh, I don't know about touching the engine, Pip. That might be dangerous, buddy. Oh, come on. What's the worst that could happen? 
Um, there's a lot of bad things that could happen. If you go in there, Pip, you'll get crushed. Oh, no, I won't, Louie. Just watch this. All right. Oh, no. Pip, Pip. Oh, no. Get out of there, buddy. Oh, what do you mean, get out of there? And wait. Ow. 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 Pip, get out. Ow. Oh, oh, my, my gosh. gosh. Louie, your engine almost killed me. This is attempted murder. What? But, Pip, you were the one that jumped inside. No, I didn't, Louie. You pushed me. Oh. You climbed in. I literally watched you, but whatever, Pip. Look, we've built our engine now. Now all we have to do is make a big propeller that spins on the back of the boat. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to once again use this mechanical bearing and some glue in order to make a very cool spinning propeller. So let me get some of this white concrete and let's build it. All I have to do is just build a cool looking propeller that comes out of the water like that. Wait, Louie, we need propellers? Yes, of course we do. Otherwise, this cruise ship won't move. Oh, I don't think I need propellers. My ship will just float. Oh, well, we'll see about that, buddy. I'm pretty sure if your ship floats, you won't be able to go anywhere. And you'll be a sitting duck in the ocean. Oh, I don't mind, Louie, but... Wait, your engine is working! Yep, look how cool it looks, buddy! And you know what? I think I'll speed it up a tiny bit. Let me make this thing a tiny bit faster. And boom! All right, Pip, how fast is the engine spinning now? Oh, it looks like 100,000 miles an hour! Yep, that is perfect! This ship is definitely going to work now, and we will be able to sail away when we're ready! All right, Louie, but what about those sharks? How are we going to stop them? Well, don't worry, Pip. I've already thought of a good idea. Look, we are going to be able to get out onto the deck over here and run around the side of the boat, and we are going to put some TNT traps here to stop them. So let's get some dispensers, some TNT, and most importantly, some redstone, and let's make a TNT trap to stop those sharks. I'll just put some concrete going across and some dispensers down like this. Now, I'll spread them out evenly, and boom. I think that should be perfectly enough. Now, all we do is connect them all up with redstone dust like this. Oh, Louie, but be careful where you're aiming. We don't want to blow up Mikey and JJ. Oh, don't worry, Pip. Mikey and JJ are going to be just fine. We just have to make sure not to set this off before we put them in the boat. Oh, yeah, so let me just press it right now. Wait, what, Pip? Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm kidding, Louie. Going to blow up Mikey and JJ yet? Phew! I was getting a little bit scared because I thought you were going to use it before I could. All right, let's test this thing out. And boom! It worked! And it did not put a scratch on Mikey or JJ. Louie, how about we try it again with a fan? Wait, a fan? How is that going to work? Oh, let me try. I'll set it off and... Whoa! That TNT got launched right to the ground. Oh, but let me put another fan. Try it again. All right, boom. Whoa! Pip, that was pretty cool. But let's get rid of those fans. We need all of our TNT power being put right here. So there we go. We now have a TNT trap, but finally, we just need an armory room to have a bunch of armor to fight off those sharks. Wait, we need armor to fight the sharks? I was thinking of using my bare hands. What? No, Pip. You cannot beat up a shark with your bare hands. It might bite it off. Oh, yeah. But can't we just regrow arms? Well, no, Pip. We are not like lizards or snakes. But here we go. Look, I'll put the armory room back here. And I'll make it so we can climb down a ladder to get to it. Let me just put some oak planks coming down with a ladder going up them. Now, we should be able to climb down to our armory room whenever we need to. Oh, yeah. Where are we going to put the armor stands? Well, I'm glad you asked, Pip. This is going to be nice and simple. We'll just put one here and one one here. Oh, yeah, and we have to use the best armor in the game. So let me just get that for my creative inventory. Wait, what is the best armor in the game? Oh, no. Gold armor. Oh, yeah, of course, Louie. What other armor would we use? Well, let me show you, buddy. I am going to use this armor right here. It is the Saitama armor! And that is 
basically the strongest armor in Minecraft. Pit. Look, it gives you all of these crazy effects, and it also makes you basically unkillable. The Saitama armor. Louie, why does it look like it has eyes? Oh, I don't actually know, Pip. I think it just gives me, like, extra googly eyes. Oh my gosh, I didn't know armor came with googly eyes. Well, some of them do, Pip. You'll just have to get used to it, buddy. Oh, but this armor does kind of look like McDonald's armor. Look, it's red and yellow. Yep, and that is why I chose it, because it has two of our favorite colors, and it's really strong. Oh, yeah, but well, what are we going to do next? We only have armor. We need weapons. Well, buddy, let's get some of those. This should be nice and easy. We just have to get some swords, and I'll use my favorite sword in Minecraft, the Infinity Sword. This can kill people even in creative mode. That's how strong it is. Louis, you know that's not true. That's just a myth. Oh, really? Well, uh, how about I kill you right now? You're in creative mode, right? Yeah, Louis, I'm in creative mode. All right, well, three, two, and die. I told you! What? How did you kill me, Louis? Well, Pip, it's all the Infinity Sword. It's the strongest weapon in the entire game. But I'm going to put it all in this chest, ready to fight those sharks. Awesome. But now, to be able to kill those sharks, I'm going to do what they did in the Jaws movie and shoot the sharks with a gun. So I'm going to get a gun and some magazines. This will allow me to kill those sharks very quickly. And I should be okay. Magazines? Louie, are you trying to read magazines? while fighting the shark? No, Pip! I'm trying to shoot the sharks with this handgun. Well, Louie, you're not going to shoot sharks with a magazine. Oh, I'm not reading a magazine, Pip. You'll understand soon. Well, it's okay, Louie. To save you from your addiction to reading magazines for some reason, I'm going to put golden apples in my chest and you can eat some and cure your addiction. All right. Thank you very much, Pip. Wait, how long have we been building? Only a couple minutes, right? How about we go outside and take a look? Oh, follow me and... Uh-oh. Pip? Uh, I don't think this is good. The moon is coming up and the sun is going down. How is it going down already? I don't know, buddy. But all I know is that we need to get our armor on right now and fight those sharks. Come on. Oh, yeah, Louie. We need to kill those sharks and send them back to where they came. All right, Pip. I'm going to get my gun ready to start shooting. Those sharks will never survive this. And I'm also going to get my infinity sword and a few of those golden apples you had. All right, Louie. It's good to know that you're not reading those magazines anymore. Oh, I never read magazines magazines in the first place. I was talking about the things that hold the gun's ammo. But whatever, Pip. Let's just get Mikey and JJ inside of our boats, and then let's fight these sharks. Oh, yeah, Louie. We don't even have them on our cruise ships yet. Come on, let's get them on. Follow me, guys. All right, Pip. I've now got JJ inside of the cruise ship, and oh, wait a second. Um, Pip, I think I'm in survival mode. Something's really wrong. Oh, yeah. To survival mode as well. Let's see outside and see what's going on. And uh oh, Pip, there's a lot of sharks out here. There's so many, Louie. Shoot them, shoot them. Don't worry, Pip. I've got this. I'm using my gun. I'm going to shoot some of these sharks. And wait, this gun is very effective. Boom, 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 boom. I can kill them in two shots. This is awesome. But wait. I don't have infinite ammo. Maybe I should try my TNT trap. And take this, sharks! Let's see if this works. And boom! Whoa! I did loads of damage. Let's do that again. And boom, boom! Oh my gosh, that killed so many of those sharks. That was amazing. Yeah, Louis, spam the TNT! You know what? I will, Pip. Boom, 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 boom! Go, TNT! Boom, 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 But wait a second, Pip. I think I might have put a lot of TNT. I saw some fly out of the water. Are you okay over there? Yeah, I'm perfectly fine. And my ship looks fine. All right, good stuff, Pip. But wait a second. You don't have any traps on your ship. If any of those sharks bite into it, you're done for. Yeah, Louie, I couldn't make any traps. I was too busy on your cruise ship. Oh, my gosh. Uh, but wait a second, Pip. 
Look down there. It seems like there's holes in your ship. Those sharks are biting into it. Oh, my gosh. Let me go down here and repair it. Oh, be careful, buddy. It's not looking good for you and Pip. No, Ow. you're in the water. Oh, I need to get out. I need to get out. It's golden apples. Get into my ship, Pip. Hurry. Oh, my gosh. How do I get in there? You have to swim around the back. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, my gosh. I'll just take a jet ski. Go, 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 go. Oh, my gosh. I can't even drive the jet skis with all these sharks in the way. And wait, Louie, I'm on it. All right, go, Pip, go. Go round the back of my ship and meet me back where my oh, engine I'm is. Going as fast as I can, Louie, but there's just so many sharks. Yeah, there are a lot of sharks down here. You might have to be careful. Come on, let me on the ship. Get on, Pip, run. Oh, come on, I'm stuck under the engine. Just swim around it. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, I'm on. All right, go on, Pip. Hurry. Run into the engine room and climb up the ladders. Meet me on the deck. All right, Louie, where are you? I'm right here, buddy. Hurry, eat some of these golden apples. You took a beating down there. Oh, yeah, Louie, that was horrible. My armor's almost out. Oh, that's not good. Uh, just follow me over here. Maybe we can see how many sharks are outside. And whoa, there's a lot of them down there. Yeah, Louie, there's tons of them out there. But wait, there's so many around my ship. What are we going to do about Mikey? Oh, this is really bad. Come on, Pip, we've got to go, go, go. And, uh... Come on, let's get him. Pip, uh, stop a second. Um, what? Why is Mikey on our ship and how did he get here? How did he get here? Did he get on the other jet ski? I think he must have. I think Mikey followed you over. Gosh, Mikey, you almost scared me. How did you do that? I don't know, Pip, but Mikey's kind of a crazy turtle. After all, he can swim really fast. But wait, Pip, we can get away. Now Mikey and JJ are on my cruise ship. We can drive away. Come on, get to the top floor. Oh, yeah, Louie, we need to get out of here if we can't kill all those sharks. We can't kill all those sharks. We just need to leave. Come on. Climb up these ladders, Pip. We have to get to the main control room. This way. All right, we're on the top deck. Just sit down, Pip. I'll get us out of here. I'm going to mess with the control panel and the steering wheel. Come on. I'm pressing my button. Louie, how long do we have to be driving for? We've been driving for ages. Oh, don't worry, buddy. We don't have to drive any longer because look out of the window. We've made it to land. Yep, and now Mikey and JJ are safe from those sharks. Oh, yeah, Louie. Why didn't we just use the helicopters to escape? Point, good point, but it's fine. At least we got away with our cruise ship. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then make sure to like, subscribe, and click the next video on your screen. Let's go! Let's go!